everybody and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome for the first time today i'm so excited to be filming this video i have been waiting to film this video for ages i had a plan since i bought this beautiful suit it was in a haul video i will link that below i will link everything in this video below as well but yeah i have been so excited to film this basically i'm going to be showing you how i style this specific suit from nasty girl like 12 ways i think i don't actually know how many outfits i put together earlier i really tried everything on just to make sure that it all looked okay so yeah without further ado let's get on into it if you can hear noise i am very sorry my family are all home obviously quarantine vibes so that's them making the noise but i can't tell them to be quiet so yeah I will start off by showing you the beautiful suit itself. So it is this suit from Nasty Gal. It's kind of like a neon coral, I would say, but when I saw this, I was like, I need it. I just envisioned it so many different ways. And to me, that's a really good purchase. You would spend money on something like that that you know you're gonna get the wear out of, but this was not expensive. I can't remember exactly how much it was, but it definitely wasn't expensive. So the first thing I've done is just put this on together with absolutely nothing underneath, but I have paired it with these amazing earrings and these are from Shein. I just think these are like so fabulous. I love them. I probably wouldn't actually wear the suit the way that I have styled it here because it is quite gaping. If I had maybe got a smaller size in the blazer, you could do that. But for me, it just was a bit bare. But yes, I wanted to show you that you could wear it like that. So next I popped on this little black bodysuit. This is from AS West, but I know Zara, Primark, everywhere does them now. But I just love the fit of this one. And I don't know if you can see, but it basically joins together there in two separate bits. I don't know, I just love this bodysuit and it's really, really good quality. And I think this is like eight pound or something. Bargain. And I have also paired this with a black hairband, which was also from AS West. It's very Blair Waldorf inspired. And my And Other Stories bag, which is just fantastic. Really, really good purchase. Then to swap up the footwear and make it a wee bit more nighttime appropriate, I have paired it with this pair of heels and these are from In The Style. They are ridiculously high. I haven't worn heels in I don't know how long. And whenever I put these on earlier, I felt like a giant, like an actual giant. So girls, if you haven't worn heels in a while, I feel like our first night out after quarantine is just going to be hell, actual hell. But really like these heels. If they were comfier, they'd be great. I think that's specifically what I love about this suit. It's just you can wear it so casually, but you can wear it so dressed up as well. My camera just died because I've been filming all day, so if the setup is slightly different, that is why. So moving on to the next outfit, I stayed with the black bodysuit, and then I paired it with a pair of black cycling shorts. These are just a pair from Collusion, I think. They are pretty see-through, but, you know, it's fine. This is definitely more of a casual outfit. It's a lot comfier, probably, than the rest of them in this video. I then paired it with some black Nike socks, which I am just loving at the minute. And, and then I added some gold jewelry, so gold earrings, gold necklaces, I'll not list the ones that I have just because I think everybody's gold jewellery, like everybody has their own preferences, blah blah blah. And again, I paired that outfit with my Pretty Little Thing trainers. I do wish that I had tried it on with my black Converse, but I didn't. <laughs> now for a slightly more dressy outfit than the last, I have got on the blazer, the black bodysuit, and I have paired it with some black not even leather trousers, more just like wet look. These are from Primark, or coated jeans is what I would say actually. Yeah, these are from Primark. I have also added a belt that was from AS West. It just has a gold like circle buckle detail thing. <laughs> and then for shoes, 
my new babies. These actually just came in the post today, so I was so excited to be filming this, but I... paired that outfit with my black DM sandals. Don't actually know which ones these are. Voss. Voss sandals. I was between the ones with the thicker, these ones that have the thicker like front bit and the like three striped foot thing. But I got these. I have everything like written on my phone. Like look at this note. It just has all the outfits and what I've actually paired it with so I don't fuck up this video. Probably gonna do that anyway, but you'll see what everything looks like on even if I don't say the right things that I'm wearing. For the next outfit, I wanted to make it a wee bit more summery because I'm aware that everything I have kind of put on so far has been quite wintry because I've paired it with black. So I have got this white bodysuit. This is from Nasty Gal and it's like a ribbed bodysuit. This was in a recent haul. And I also have a pair of denim cycling shorts. Still not convinced on these, but I did like the way it looked with this outfit. Kept on the blazer, paired it with my Pretty Little Thing cleaners, and again, with my Shein earrings. This is definitely much more of a summer outfit, like I can imagine this like a barbecue or a couple of drinks, everything has started to open up now so maybe like a wee Sunday sash maybe, who knows. <laughs> that will not be happening for a while here anyway. So I then took out those earrings because I was putting on a silver belt and I didn't want to go gold and silver so the belt I have Paired with this is actually from Misguided. I think black and silver belts are very, very hard to find. I got this one, honestly, about four or five years ago from Misguided, and it has it has served me very, very well, and it still is kind of like in perfect condition. So I just paired some silver silver jewelry with that to bring in the silver in the belt, and then I added my DM sandals again because I actually thought there were silver in the sandals, but. It's not, it's kind of more like a gunmetal black. <laughs> now this next outfit, I'm sorry. I actually went out of the kitchen and I was like, mommy, look at me. I was like, this is the nicest outfit I've ever put on. She was like, Hannah, it's, it's okay. I love it. So I have the entire suit on and then I have this fantastic t-shirt, which is of my favorite film, Back to the Future. And I just thought because of the colors in the actual Back to the Future bit, the writing, that it would be perfect for this suit. This is from Truffle Shuffle, and I got it in a size small, and I just love the way, ooh, I just love the way that looks. I have also paired it with a pearl hairband, which is from Primark. I'm a big fan of a big hairband, but I specifically love the pearl one. I just think it's fantastic. And again, I have paired that with my pretty little thing, like dad trainers, Balenciaga ripoffs. I'm being really annoying the sound like right in the way. I need to move to the side. Also, if you're wondering where my top is from, it is from Shein. I'm just wearing it with a wee black bralette. This is the belt that I was talking about with the gold. And then I have on these trousers, which are from Stradivarius, and I got them in Brussels. I think they're from Stradivarius, they're either Stradivarius or Zara, or Bershka. They're from Zara. So again, I've kept on the entire suit and I have paired up with another t-shirt, but this time it is this fantastic t-shirt. And it just says the Queen. I think this is actually the, what logo is this? What's the album called? Night at the Opera. <sighs> that was stressful. So I paired it with the entire suit, this top. I don't actually know where I got this top. I think I might just have typed in like Queen merch to Google. <laughs> and then I have paired that with my black high top Converse, which I basically live in, but barely styled in this video. It was pretty strange. Then again with that same Blair Waldorf-esque black hairband, my black bag and some gold jewelry. Then just to wake. Then just to make it a wee bit more summer-esque, I decided to swap out my Converse for my DM sandals. By DM, I mean Dr. Martin, if you don't know. 
Then I lost the bag, I lost the hairband, and I added a denim jacket. My denim jacket is from ASOS, but any denim jacket would do. This would actually be really nice with a like really oversized black denim jacket as well, but that is not something that I own. I actually probably would have preferred this with a more oversized jacket. Mine is pretty cropped, but it's still baggy, but I still like the outfit. Then to switch it up a third time, I decided to add my black leather jacket. My black leather jacket is from Stradivarius and I got this about a year and a half ago and I have got so, so much wear out of this jacket. It is really good quality and I think it was like £25 or something, so a complete bargain. Now on to the last few outfits. These are definitely more evening appropriate and dressy outfits. So like i've said a million times i just love this suit i think it's so versatile you can wear this so many so many ways <coughs> i get so much bang for your buck i've been watching so much olivia neil by the way so if i like start to talk like her i'm so sorry uh, her voice just literally goes straight into my head and stays there completely stays there so again, I have got on the entire suit and I have this saucy little number. This is a black lace bodysuit. I don't actually know where this is from. I, I'm pretty sure this is from Pretty Little Thing. I wore this to my cousin's wedding actually with an orange suit, like, a, like an orange suit. That is definitely more coral, whereas the one I wore was nearly like this, except more like muted. So I just paired it with this. This is definitely more of a night out outfit. Then I paired that with the same strappy heels from In The Style. So I kept on the strappy heels, the lace bodysuit, and I added this zebra print shirt. This is from, I deleted the app off my phone the other day and I cannot remember what it is called. Oh my God, it's an Australian website. Oh my god, I literally cannot remember what it's called, but the br the brand is Lioness. But this is probably my least favourite outfit. I had visions in my head of this being really, really nice, but it just wasn't a vibe for me. I unbuttoned it, and then I just left it a wee bit open, but I did still like it. You could wear this shirt buttoned up and with just the suit, and it would be quite like a funky business outfit, but yeah just not not my fave then my last outfit i have this sequin top this is from nasty gal it is so sequiny <laughs> so so sequiny and they keep falling off they're all over my bloody floor it is very annoying but i decided to pair this with the entire suit and also these black shoes which i actually wore to my cousin's wedding as well with the orange suit and the strappy the lace bodysuit. I love these shoes. They are so chic. Like they are so chic, aren't they? I love them so much. They were like £60 or something, but I have got loads and loads of wear of them. And then I also paired that with a little like pearl strappy clutch bag not even a clutch bag like a cross body bag and i'm pretty sure that was either from nasty gal or pretty little thing but i think it was nasty gal the quality is pretty shocking to be honest and i've never worn the bag and i actually don't think i would ever bring it out with me because it would definitely snap so that is the end of the video everybody i hope i actually made that quite fluid i think i might have missed like certain things that I've paired with the suit, but you will see in the try on clips and everything how I have styled them. And hopefully I will leave everything linked below. Quite a lot of the stuff will be out of stock because barely any of it is like new stock. But yeah, you probably have loads of this stuff in your wardrobe anyway, and you probably have a suit. I also think this could be a red suit. It could be a pink suit, a blue suit, a green suit. You don't need a suit like that colour to get as many outfits out of it. I just think a suit is so versatile and can be business. It can be so casual. It can be a night out. Oh. And even you could wear that suit with black jeans and a black top or a white top and mom jeans and trainers. 
there are other ways that I would wear this that I haven't styled in this video just because I feel like there are a wee bit more obvious ways to style it. I don't know. I don't know. But if you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye.